Hey, come see us on tour. I'll be in Davenport, Iowa, Las Vegas, Nevada, Chicago, Illinois, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. Corey Bush did an interview on PBS, and I bet you didn't know Corey Bush is a healer. I didn't know that. She is a healer. Uh, either, the, either. let's watch. Either okay. that or a witch. Okay. Let's watch. <laughs> You're a pastor. Yes. You're, she's a pastor. You write about healing through faith. At one point, you came across a woman with, quote, several visible tumors on her torso. Now, now let me just talk. I, I've had some personal interactions with Corey Bush. And Corey Bush is a scammer. Okay? I, I know because I've had personal interactions with her. Did okay. she heal you? And <laughs> I wish she did. Here we go. You're a pastor. Yes. You yes. write about healing through faith. At one point, you came across a woman with, quote, several visible tumors on her torso. Tell me what happened. Um, so at that time, I, along with um, a group of friends, we would go out on the street and just meet with people and pray with people and offer them food. And this lady came to us and she had these tumors. I mean, she wanted us to like feel them. And um, I just remember I put my hand on her um, and my hand just began to move. And uh, the lumps that were there were no longer there. And she was so happy and she like went on about her day. And I never saw her again. So you think the tumors disappeared? I do. I do. And this Boy, how convenient. You never saw her again. You know why you never saw her again? Because she died. <laughs> she was unhoused. You never saw her. Oh, I, I healed her and she left. And we, there's no way you could ever check the story. <laughs> Just this one time I decided to use my amazing healing powers. Yeah. Just this one time. It was a laying on of hands. There's more. That, listen to her. Is that this, she really just said that. That's a person in Congress. That's the kind of, again, that's the kind of, these are the kind of crazy things that they say Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene would say. Or Pat Robertson. Or, or Trump. But here it is. Woman was unhoused. She's someone who, you know, had been sleeping in the shelters and sleeping on the street. If, if I can speak a prayer... Mm -hmm. and I can believe what, what I believe and you believe that this will help you, then why not offer that to people? Because I know prayer has helped me. As a trained nurse, you're a member of the medical community. How, how do you think about those spiritual healings versus medical healings? Yeah, S spiritual healing um, is it's a part of what you believe, you know, and... Uh, the the medical healing is it's it's a similar thing because I still I'm going to believe that this treatment that this doctor is giving me is going to help me in my situation. And so as the nurse, I am following the doctor's instructions and giving them whatever the doctor says that they should have. And also for those patients that would say, would you also pray with me? You know, I would pray with them. Um, and so it's the same thing that I would do on the street. What do you say to people who are likely to disbelieve that story? You know, they're not the woman that had the tumors. And we'll never know the lady who you say had. Hey, by the way, did those tumors have nipples on them? <laughs> <laughs> if she's so good at this healing, why doesn't she lay her hands on Biden's colon so he stops shitting his pants? <laughs> There's a lot of rifts to heal a government. You go, well, how about lay your hands on Biden's mouth so we could speak clearly again? Yeah. You ever think about doing that? Oh, my God. You know, and that's. She's like a superhero. She's like, I, could, I didn't have time to hang around, get the lady's name. Don't, I just why had, are they telling us this? I was on my. Like, I don't understand why PBS is telling us this about her. She's not opening up a healing business, right? She's just some congressman. So why, why even bring why would that she, out? Why would she do this? I don't know. Well, here's here's some people's reactions. Oh, Robbie Suave. Uh, he says, I'm not sure this interviewer handled it wrongly. Is that the proper use of wrongly? But the lack of freak out from other commentators reacting to this interview, that's what is telling. Mm -hmm. Telling like how Brianna Joy Gray got fired from that show you're on. <laughs> yeah, telling like that. Yeah. <laughs> telling like how Brianna Joy Gray got fired. The lack but that, of freak out. But that is, yeah, that is telling. Yeah.
Imagine having this capacity to be a conduit for miraculous healing. And rather than doing that all day, mm -hmm. in every waking moment, you decide to waste your existence in Congress. You should not waste your existence. Cha-ching. Wasting your, you're wasting your existence on Twitter. She's, she's out there getting that money. That's a... I... I it's a time-honored tradition. You said Pat Robertson? No, he was a classic CIA part of the whole bullshit thing. Of course. So, you um, know, my, my favorite yeah. faith healer was Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn, oh, who yeah. would go out and he'd heal people, hit them, and they'd fall down, except he had the most wicked comb over. Right? He's one of yeah. those, woo! Yeah. And it's like, don't you think if you get actually heal pill, but wouldn't you, you take, over, wouldn't right? you take five seconds to fix your own bald spot? I mean, if that, <laughs> if it mattered that much to you that no, you would do that, rub. you got to channel the power through the top chakra of your bald spot into the, <laughs> it's like, be, it's like being a faith healer with a limp. I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of faith in your faith healing. If you come limping up to me, telling you're going to heal me. What if I told you the more I heal, the worse it gets? <laughs> How do you respect my lip? She really said that, ladies and gentlemen. You, she just saw it. She said she put her hands on, the tumors are gone, and uh, Listen, she's, she's got this gift. A lot of con artists say that, okay? The thing that I think is strange is PBS wanting to put that out there because people that have any of that Christian, old-timey healing faith generally are the enemy of PBS and it has been like that for a while. So why are they pushing her doing it? Is that to like get evangelicals or something for a Democrat? Like, is that what that is? I, good. I, I don't, I, I, I expect I don't, the silly con artists to say nonsense, but you know, PBS is, uh, is that the one that that lizard lady runs? Uh, Ma, Catherine Marr, right? She, or maybe she's not there now, but she was running it when the guy, just, he just quit and said they're biased. Uh-huh. Oh, right, right. They're biased against that kind of stuff. Yeah. So unless she's an actual witch, I don't know why they would support this. All right. It probably is witchcraft. I'm going to throw in my wild <laughs> speculation. They go to the same coven. I'm just, I just know. and her. I just think that they're just lying scammers. Are you Sleepy Joe who has zero cognitive performance, scared of walking upstairs without being worried you're going to fall down? Do you struggle to muster the focus and brain power for basic things in life, such as eating ice cream and riding a bike? <laughs> this is all. This is selling coffee by making jokes about the president. You need to stop drinking woke liberal coffee and start your day by drinking Rumble's very own 1775 coffee. I think that sounds silly. There's no such thing as woke coffee. <laughs> There's just coffee. But they do. But guess what? They have this uh, seven, seven, Rumble has their own coffee, 1775 coffee. Never mind that it will be the best tasting coffee you have ever had in your life, as in seriously good. Steph drinks it. She likes it. I do. Now, I only drink decaf, so I, they don't have decaf right now, so I, I can't tell you, but Steph likes it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also ethically sourced. That's important. That sounds woke to me, if you ask me the truth. Uh, it's also ethically sourced from a far family farm in the high altitude mountains of Bolivia. So instead of waking up tomorrow morning and drinking your mold-infested, big corporation-owned, woke ideology coffee, come on with the woke that <laughs> That is probably making you sick from the pesticides it's sprayed with. That, that might be yeah. true. Try Rumble 1775 coffee. Support freedom of speech and build a parallel economy that actually values you. Now, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Go to 1775coffee.com right now and pick up your first bag. Use the code DOOR, that's D-O-R-E, and you'll save you 10% off your first order. Steph's favorite roast is dark. That's true. You won't regret it for a moment. Level up your morning routine with a bag of 1775 coffee and sleep well at night knowing that your hard-earned dollars are going towards supporting freedom-loving creators like me on Rumble. <laughs> Hey, come see me do stand-up on tour in Ontario, California, Davenport, Iowa, Las Vegas, Nevada, Chicago, Illinois. It's a special video show with stand-up and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets.